uh, uh, yeah, we are crossing the next stage of parenting to our grandparents and uh, that kind yeah. of a stage we are coming in. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, since it's running, time is running fast. We start the session. Okay. I just want to ask you a question. Uh, why did you get married? I hope all of you are married here. Um, what is the goal of marriage? I want you to answer. Open your microphones and you can talk to us. Good evening, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to have a happy family. To have a happy to family. Have a ha so what do you define by family? Uh, it's like we see our parents uh, well, uh, well managed, responsible, and still they were happy doing all things for us. So uh, that was the main intention. I wanted to have a happy life. Okay. So. So um, you are, you have you have a model in your parents. Yes, yes. You, my mother you, and my father really played a very vital role in my life. Okay. And uh, that was the main intention. So that's, they influenced you, right? Yes, they influenced okay, me. Okay, good. Then, anybody else? Uh, hello, brother. Yes. yes. Companionship. We get married for companionship, to have Genesis, a companion. Genesis 2, 18 says, it's not good for a man or a woman to be alone, right? Good, companionship. Anybody else? There should be one goal for marriage, no? If mom focus has a goal, no? That they, are, uh, they have a abbreviation of M-O-M, -M, okay? Um, mission of mothers, no? uh, What is the abbreviation? It was instituted by God. Oh. In Genesis, he said you will multiply. Multiply. Uh, have increase from generation to generation. Okay, God uh, expects uh, Godly offsprings. offsprings, right? Malachi chapter 2 and verse uh, 14, 15. So, yeah, we are we are telling lots of us, we when we convey that, okay, this is what marriage is, we are talking about missions of marriage. But what we are asking, what is the vision of marriage? Vision is one liner. No? If you go to CMC Velo Christian Medical College, the vision of CMC is uh, not to be served but to serve. But their mission is through medical, through paramedical, through teaching, through treating people, they do the mission. Yeah. So uh, we are asking the vision of marriage. What is God's vision? What does God expect from every couple, married couple? God fearing generation to become Christ like. To become, become Christ like. Right. Okay. One okay. with each other. Oneness yeah. with each other and oneness with God. Okay. You have a verse for that? Oneness with each other? You're it's right. In Genesis. It's in Genesis. Uh, Genesis, Genesis 2 24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother. Leave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. The two becoming one is the goal of marriage. Why can't we be two, right? But God wants us to be one because there's a reason for that. Because we are asked to replicate the triune nature of God. Okay, God is three in one, right? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Spirit. The Spirit, Holy Spirit is not the Father. But they reveal to us as one. Hear, O Israel, know that your Lord, your God is one. Right? That is the goal of mar uh, marriage. And a human being, uh, each human being, uh, all of us have five needs. One is emotional need, intellectual or mental needs, then sexual needs, social needs, and also spiritual needs. Right? Uh, Genesis chapter 4, 1 says, Adam knew his wife. The word for the uh, meaning of new, K-N-E-W, is 
he understood uh, in all these areas, five areas. And Eve understood him, uh, in, him in all these five areas, right? So God has made us differently so that he, want, he wants me to understand my wife, all right? He wants me to understand my wife and to come together as one. Okay? There's a reason for God making us differently. And if we are all the same, it will be boring. So if I ask you, uh, most of your mothers here, how many of you have understood your husband? You all must be laughing now. I know that. Right? Okay. We are still exploring, no? Yeah. Right. Billy Graham. Billy Graham and uh, Ruth Graham, they, uh, they were married for 50 years. On the 50th anniversary, they asked um, they, a, a big uh, TV crew, radio station and all came. They, asked, they were interviewing them. A uh, question was asked to uh, Mrs. Ruth Graham. They asked, Ruth, you have been married for 15 years, 50 years now to uh, uh, a great man of God, right? A celebrity was globe trotted all over, right? So, we have a question for you, tough questions, it's a tough question. Have you ever thought of divorcing your husband? This old lady, 70, 75, she's her and suddenly she came out. Uh, no, never, not even when once I thought of divorcing him, but many times I thought of murdering him, right? Right. It's all because of the differences. We are made entire, there's differentness in us. I am different emotionally, mentally, sexually, socially, um, uh, sp uh, spiritually, and also psychologically, and uh, even in a personality ways, right? Every way. My communication is different from my wife. We'll be seeing that. So, right. So the goal of marriage is to becoming one. So we are going to listen uh, with the idea that how God is, for God is, made us differently to become one okay so uh, we are created differently yes god said that it is not uh, god said i have let us make man in our own image in the likeness uh, of uh, our lord and he said that uh, he, made, he them made them male and female. female yes it's not a male alone okay it's not only female alone. God made male and female. If he had made uh, uh, Steve for Adam, it would have been easier for him to handle uh, Steve, right? Or, uh, okay. Nowadays, people and are for, uh, uh, connecting like that. Uh, but for, that is not the way. And for Eve, he did not make another madam, right? It was Adam. So we are different. So we're going to see the differences, how we can create problems, in a family, but the purpose of making them different is so beautiful. Okay. A man's strength, right? His power lies in his arms and his limbs. Okay. His arms and what does it do? God created men for hard work. We see in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, he said, uh, The Lord brought man into the garden. He put him in the garden of Eden and, and told him to work. Okay, so he has given him the strength in, uh, in his arms and uh, legs. So yeah. They are like 100 meter sprinters. So if you give a job to your husband, because of the strength in his arms and legs, he works very fast. But after he works, but uh, once he completes his target, or in between, he'll stop for... 5, 10, 15 minutes. A he break. has to sit down. He needs a break. Then, in that time, as he sits down, he may open his TV also, and he'll be troubling his wife. Sally, get me a cup of coffee. My wife will get angry. Why? Because she's not. she doesn't have uh, strength in her arms and limbs. Her strength lies in her hips. Right? Why God gave her strength in her hips is to have a good a uh, physical relationship with the husband as well as uh, bringing forth children into the world to bear children, right? So the strength lies there. So we but, are not uh, 100 meter sprinters. We are like a marathon runners. So from morning to evening we can run but slowly. 
not very fast like the sprinters yeah. they are like 100 meter sprinter they run very fast but they need a break in between now we are living together 100 meters and uh, a long marathon runner but right? when i ask for coffee in between each break in every break how can it be you just read one job and sitting quietly huh you are asking me to make coffee again. What? My can't even make a cup of coffee for me. Eh? Don't you see that I am working? Yeah, I know. Right. So I did the work. I completed the job. But you know, you are so slow in working. So you I am... can also finish the work which is before you. Okay. See, like that, we get into arguments. Not knowing each other. That is, my husband's nature is taking a break in between the work. Okay, after finishing one work, he will take a break and then he will start another work. Why I get angry with my wife is, see, uh, uh, all of us, many, many homes, they have the habit of after washing the clothes and drying it up, they come, they put it on the, uh, on the bed or on the sofa in the front hall or somewhere. It will be there for a day or something like that. They will not, uh, uh, they have to sell it for any or they got to... Uh, fold, it. fold it and all these things. So I said, Ma, this uh, clothes, uh, these clothes have been here for a day. Why don't you fold it? Yeah, Ma? today I'm going to fold it. Yeah, she, so she starts in the morning about the, as, as I start from my work. She starts at 8, uh, eight o'clock. And evening when I come back at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, she'll be still folding the clothes. So I get angry with her. Sally. What? Well, I saw you started at 8 o'clock and still you're in the clothes. Nah? You think that I'm sitting here the whole day? Then, then what, what are you doing here? And now you're getting food and all. Huh? Why are you thinking like this? Then, then still, you're not folding the clothes at all. Nah? I fold. See, huh. I had lots of work. In hmm. between, I went and did so many work. And just now I came and sat. Oh, so what they do is in between, they would uh, they have gone into the kitchen, made some dal or the, even the dinner. Or they have to make lunch and so many things. So they work like that. But when the husband comes and sees this, I mean, she's on the same work, he gets wild with her. So husbands need to understand women, they are, they are marathon runners. They, <clears throat> they work slowly, but they can work throughout the day continuously. Men, they work in uh, like, uh, uh, they need a break in between every work, right? So then, that I need to understand, okay? My man needs a break in between. Yeah. And also men, you know, here, men who are sitting here or listening, you need to understand that uh, because you are, a, you, are a, you are a fast worker, you have a short burst of energy, you plan and work very fast and then take a break and do work. You expect your wife to be like that. You come and advise, okay? You plan like this. You have to plan like this. You need to meticulously plan. Women will we get very frustrated when we hear from our man because uh, they are, we think that why he is not understanding? Why you are not understanding? See, we are already we are planning and doing work, but we are we are we are doing continuously. Okay, so for him it looks like that I am not doing properly. So the men and women we need to understand each other so that we can celebrate our gender differences. Okay. Then the, the difference the differences with the eyes, right? Men are tunnel vision, right? Our vision is like this. We cannot see on the sides, right? We can focus like this. We have a very focused vision. Women cannot see like this. It's spread. It's 180 degrees from left to right. It's called the peripheral vision. So the problem with the peripheral vision living with a tunnel vision just like this. Peter, right. yeah. can you get uh, butter from the fridge? Yeah, yeah. Come fast, Papa. We have to send our children to school. Mommy. What? Butter is not here. Papa, it is there only. Yeah, Ma. Ah. I'm, I'm searching the fridge. It's not inside the fridge. It's, it's there. Where did we keep it? Inside the fridge. Ma, I'm looking into the fridge, but not into the TV. Oh, come you come and search. Properly. You should keep it uh, in a proper place. See, here, no. Yeah, Can't you see? Here but, is the butter. Butter, huh? Uh -huh. So how did it come here now? What is this? When I said it was see, not there. I a... know. You never helped me. I know that you don't want it's to help me like at all. 
I don't know. Somehow it was missing. Purposely, you behave like that. Somehow it was missing. Why? Somehow it was missing. Why? It was there only. Why? It was there. We should keep it in a very proper place. Okay. It was there in the proper place. Okay. Why? Why men are not able to identify objects or anything? No, it's very cut. I mean, in a very. It takes time for them to identify. The reason is okay. Maybe like I said, tunnel vision. A focus is like the spotlights, right? It's, it falls on a spot. So if I look this side, this area will be covered. If I turn this side, this area will be covered. Maybe there, there's a gray area in between. Unfortunately, my wife would have kept the butter there, right? That is one reason. The other reason is, okay, uh, just imagine we have been to uh, the shop and we got amul butter. Amul butter, the cover is yellow, right? And it has got a red color writing, no? red color writing, and a girl uh, in uh, this uh, uh, red, red polka color, dots. red polka dot frock, little girl in the red polka dot uh, frock, right, licking her finger, tasting the amul butter. When I when my wife took it and I saw the pa packet, right, and uh, the the storage, amul butter means yellow color wrapper, red color writing. And little girl in red frock, polka dot uh, frock, uh, licking her finger. So it's registered in my brain. She asked me. She came home. She removed the butter from the cover, threw the cover into the dustbin, and she saw everything and she kept it on a saucer. Or she would have kept it inside a wow. container. When she told me, "Get me the butter," the instruction from my brain is red color. I mean, yellow color wrapper, red color writing. A M U L B U T B R and a little girl in red color polka dot frock licking her finger. So I'll go there with the instruction from my brain. When I open it, it'll be right in front of me in the butter paper, right? White color butter paper and a little girl there. Very small letters, amul butter, and all these things will be there. I'll be seeing that, but I will not be getting. My brain will not be getting signal from my eyes. I, my eyes won't recognize it out at all. That's a problem, right? So, women, you need to understand how to communicate to your husband. You need to be specific. Because the tunnel vision understands differently, the peripheral vision understands differently. So, how to communicate to a tunnel vision? Papa, can yeah. you get butter from the fridge? Yeah, yeah. Is there in the first track? No. First track means from bottom or top? From the top. Oh, top. Uh, the first track. Okay, left uh, or right? On the left hand side. Oh, left hand side. Uh, I kept it on this saucer. Okay? Okay, okay. It's with the butter paper. I removed the outer cover. Mm. Can you get the butter? Yeah, yeah. Now I go. Top rack, left hand side, on a saucer. Here's your butter. Thank you. Right. And again, there's a problem here. If you had kept it in a Tupperware box, a, a plastic container, or silver stainless steel container, Mention or a glass also. also. You need to say it's a plastic container, and the lid cover is red or green or blue. Okay, otherwise there'll be 15, 20 containers inside. You'll no. be searching, and you'll, you'll bring all those down. Okay, and you're going to put back all those containers inside. So be specific. And now we have a question for you. You, what's running in your head? Instead of talking to him so much and giving him, giving him a long instruction, we ourselves can go to the uh, uh, fridge and take the butter. Is you it so? Be, you'll be thinking in your mind like that. Why to tell all these things? But that is why they started with a goal. The goal of marriage is to becoming one. one. So I need to, it is, God has kept this as a goal. So I need to understand, I need to also learn how to communicate with my man. Okay, so that he, is a, he is a tunnel vision person. God has given him to me. So I need to understand and also I need to learn how I can make him understand. Yeah. Okay, so I need to learn. So I cannot say that I can do all these things. I don't need his help. It is easy to say like that. But God is telling us to becoming one, living together, helping each other, and also working together. If I am not learning these simple things, how I am going to convey to him the, the bigger things? Okay? So, be, I need to talk to him very specifically. 
not running around the bush okay or uh, so specifically means it is it's not that usually we have a habit of oh can you get it it is there it is there it is not don't say it is there okay just say where it's on the table it's in this one it is on the rack okay just tell him the specific place where it is so it will be easy for your man to understand what you are telling okay yeah, yeah. women also see because they are peripheral vision they can see both the sides but the problem is they cannot see what is right in front of their uh, feet right you walk the streets who is the one who uh, tumbles and falls on the ground usually it is the woman like okay. there may, there may be a small like a stone there you would have missed it right you start for the small stone and you tumble or just imagine there's a cow dung there you cannot see the cow dung right in front of your thing you just walk over it happily because yeah. of our peripheral vision we are so excited seeing things around yeah okay so we miss what is in front of us okay uh, so here is where men you need to understand don't scold your wife that oh can't you see properly can't you see and walk it is not it is not purposely she is doing like this okay god has given her a suitable helper hey how do come this side okay pa thank you thank you <laughs> so the thing is we need to understand each other and help in our weaknesses okay yeah. so and the, what is the use of the peripheral vision peripheral vision when we go out or okay even if you are missing your car key okay your husband is coming and asking oh i didn't know how where i don't know where i kept my car key the wife goes to the room or hall she just scans the room within a second immediately she can find out where the key is because of the peripheral vision okay so it, one one side it is useful one side it is a uh, it will be a problem so we need to understand and be a help for each other the next one is color right okay. if i say red there's only one red for me the dark pink is also red the dark orange is also red maroon is red burgundy is red right but for my wife everything is different there's blood red there's apple red there's cherry red there's plum red then the chili red there's post office red police station red then fire station red and uh, so a brick brick red so many reds are there for me only one red for us each color is different for men we group grouping it. of colors we group the colors okay all the green are in one green platform yeah. only yeah. okay for us each one is different so because of this we get into problem okay if we change your paste okay a simple example is uh, if you are buying cold cake paste or a close up paste it is red color and suddenly you are changing to himalaya paste what happens it is a green color green uh, green color and silver. Uh, yeah green and silver okay. so uh, for men that because of the grouping of colors they find it very difficult when they go to the bathroom and there is the paste why the paste is missing why she is not keeping in a proper place why where is it they will shout from there and the wife will tell it is there only can't you see it is here then immediately he asks why who told you to change the paste okay my brain has registered gold get red color anything red color is a paste for him right so it will be right in front of me but we this happened in a home not only that from uh, the shampoo uh, what were what were we uh, using l'oreal l'oreal right and suddenly she changed it to wow right wow shampoo and that is that uh, dark brown color and uh, i was not i mean many many weeks i struggled to find out the shampoo i'll be shouting from the bathroom sally where is the shampoo where did why did you take it out of the bathroom she come she done she know can't you see it so for men group you of colors happen uh, yeah three years back or something like that uh, we came to uh, trandram and she told me to pack the uh, things so i packed it and also said uh, keep a pink dupatta so i kept very faithfully i did everything packed the thing on the third day 
uh, what happened is uh, she was wearing a pink uh, uh, pink color chudida and she was searching for the dupatta i said it's a uh, right in front there, of you i can't Come find on. i look, told look, look, you to take look properly why it is not there you bend and take it's right in front it's of there, you there where yeah, there there right there yeah, you yeah, tell yeah, me yeah have it this one yeah this one only you brought yeah this is orange color orange color who told you to take this orange ha huh? ha huh. okay anyway where nobody is going to see you huh? nobody is going I'll to see you i'll be looking like a clown there what's wrong da what if you look fashionable no what pink color pink color, pink color suit there an orange color dupatta huh. how can it go well so that is why when we ask our man is it matching ha huh, everything is matching yeah yeah good They'll feel like this. So even though it's not matching, they are not seeing. They are not seeing the colors. Okay, they are not just immediately. They are not identifying all those things. We think why is not interested. Okay, it's because they they are seeing the colors in a group. Okay, so that is why they feel uninterested in talking to us. That's the thing. Okay, and then one uh, okay two friends. Okay, guys, talking to each other for half an hour. Peter, yeah, you're talking to your friend, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he came from Singapore. Yeah, I met him. I'm meeting him after ten years. Oh, is it? Yeah. He was very nice. Uh, olive, uh, this bottle green T-shirt, no? What? You don't have that color, no shirt. What? What green? Bottle green. He was wearing a T-shirt. You didn't see? I don't know, man. What he was wearing? You don't see anything. Yeah. Did you talk about. to him? I spoke to him. No. Then you didn't say you. You are telling that you didn't see the shirt. Ah, uh, we don't watch all these things, sir. Right? And then they talk to each other. After immediately, you ask your husband that whether they notice the other person shirt or pants, they won't notice. Okay. But we women, we meet for five minutes. Okay. Just five minutes. We immediately notice from the head to toe everything we notice. Okay, so our eyes are, are, are the catching of things through our eyes are different. Okay, so for me, from a mother person, what she is wearing, or uh, the clip from the clip to the toe, or toenail, or uh, uh, her slipper, everything is noticed. You know, okay? like. Uh... The researchers and the scientists were influenced by women's eyesight, and that is how they found out this MRI machine. No, 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 no. Don't simply bluff. Okay. The thing is, <laughs> we need to have it because we just scan. Okay. Immediately we can scan. So because of that, everything is stored here. Whatever we see, the eye, which whatever through the eyes, it is stored in our brain. Okay. So whatever stored. It has to come out through our mouth. No, that is why we talk. Okay, did you notice like this? Did you see this one? Okay, so that is why when we, when our our spouse goes to uh, wedding or when we go to wedding or come back, we talk a lot. Oh, did you notice this one? Did you notice that one? Because we saw so many things. We want to talk. So here is where men you need to learn to listen. You don't need to give an answer, but here men who are here was. Listening, ah, uh, your wife has lots to tell, but ah, uh, you are the best friend in the marriage. So it's not that you don't need to give any answer for it. At at least you have to listen. Okay, that's where she finds the friendship, the don't, companionship. Don't be condemning or yeah. telling. My you become said, very worldly. You, you are looking into my, many things. Don't yeah, say like that. My my friend was wearing a nice saree. And maybe a necklace and all these things. I think my you become very worldly. I think you know, why do you uh, want the other people? So? No, I don't want anybody. Uh, I'm just talking. So the eyesight is like them. that. They yeah. love they love colors, right? They love varieties. So that that's how they are made. Women are made. So accept that. Okay, this is a uh, shopping. So 100 180 degrees peripheral vision so when you go can... to shop it is like this he see like this so that is why men here you need to understand uh, we, we may say that we have to get a dupatta and let me go and get a dupatta and come but when we enter into the shop uh, we won't just go to dupatta session 
we will be watching everything and not, then not everything da mm. even the five flows will go up and down <laughs> yeah but yeah. it's okay so watch everything and then finally only we come to dupatta session then they, then they feel very irritated why she is doing that they think that i'm going to buy the whole shop no uh, i'm not yeah, going yeah. to do that the wallet will become thin <laughs> da <laughs> so, so what do men see there this is what they see <laughs> okay. this is what they see they want to sit with their sit there and watch okay what is this this woman is taking so much time so then you need to prepare your heart when you go to the shop okay my wife as a kind of a god has given her the exploring eyes she's trying to explore things i will wait for her for some time instead of irritating her come fast come fast come fast and uh, yeah you can plan and go there are some days you will not have a time but there are some days you will have time okay those time that you can spend your time with your spouse okay sarin uh, varna yeah we saw a physical difference of uh, visual difference then now we are going to see how the brain of a man processes and how the brain of a woman processes men they uh, all of you must be having this uh, masala box right around uh, uh, thing flat one and inside you will have small small uh, containers and in each container there will be one one uh, ingredient you don't put the, one ingredient in all the small containers so one will be mustard the other thing will be salt the other thing will be jeera like that many uh, ingredients will be there right uh, spices and all these things so what we want to tell you is uh, when you see such a boxes think it is your husband's brain uh, processing right for example uh, uh, no like what we mean here is a man can think only one thing at a time right you cannot um, right uh, take two things at a time okay he, he can, can open only one box at a time right then he can only do one work at a time he can is not a multitasker it means if i if i am at home and if i am talking to my wife and suddenly my children run to me and tell me something about their home work or uh, what they got to buy for tomorrow's uh, project i'll get angry because my children children's box is uh, is not open right a child's box is not open so my wife's box is open and i'm very focused and i give attention attention to her when my child comes and talks to me i feel i'm being disturbed i get angry with the child right so no two boxes can be opened at a time when my wife's box is open the other boxes have to be closed it, it will be shut all other boxes all other boxes so oh, for example i'm going to my office from home i get into my car i jump into the travel box so the home box closes automatically i come into the travel box and my brain totally focuses on the road the condition of the road the winding of the road the potholes i'll be cursing uh, the ministers and everybody i'll be driving so i go to my office then on the way back maybe i meet some friends uh, have a game uh, go to the church uh, meet the pastor some work by the time i come back home i would have jumped from one box to the other box one box closes the other box opens one box closes the other box opens that is how it functions so remember men are box like thinkers they can only open one box at a time they can do only one they can do only one work at a time but they are very focused they are opening one box at a time they are very focused and success oriented okay so uh, one box to another box it takes little time for them so okay, for example my husband is in the home box and uh, uh, peter yeah. uh, when you go to office and come back can you get uh, tomato potato and onion and bread yeah Hmm? Yeah, evening you get it done yeah sure so i think that okay my husband okay he will bring okay he yeah. go he, he closes the home box he get into travel box and then he, he goes to the travel box and then finally he jumps meets, few boxes few to the boxes office and office and coming back maybe church work or uh, he met some friends and travel box and then coming to home box hmm. okay so i just come and park the car in the parking lot 
and I see my beautiful wife standing at the door. And when I see the smile, I'll start shivering. Why? There's a fear in me. Because, you know, in our uh, town buses, uh, for example, uh, Chennai, uh, Broadway to Tamaram, so uh, Broadway, Gold, this one, that one, then finally Pallavaram, Tamaram. It will be running on a uh, electric board, no, electronic board, like that. Each station of the uh, one after the another. When I come back home and I see my wife's face, and on the forehead it will be running tomato, potato, onion, coriander leaf. Tomato, potato, it will be running like electronic board. Then I am reminded, oh my God, she told me to buy all these things. Slowly reverse the car like a cat, right? Then wait, 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 where are you wait, going? wait, wait, I'll come in five minutes. So I buy all these things and I think that I've escaped. And I come and give the back to her. Can't you remember four things? But Why you have to travel again and again? I got all these things for you. Yeah, Why, but I, I, I told you, you don't need to travel so many times so, now. So because they jump from box to box, they forget things very easily. We get very irritated when our man is forgetting many things, no? Yeah. Because they are jumping from one box to another box. It, uh, for them, it is, uh, it is uh, what, what to say, it's natural, they forget a lot of things, okay? And when they, uh, when they come to a box only, they will remember, oh, I forgot these things, okay? So, that's why I need to understand, okay, my man's brain functions like this. Transitional time, we'll put one thing there. There's a gap, there's a white uh, thing in between each box. Yeah, that, gap. yeah. So, transitional time means to jump from one box to the other box, he needs a time gap, right? For example, I you just entered into in the, in the house from office, okay? Peter, you know, see what happened. Um, Lot of uh, the nowadays, you know, dengue, dengue fever is coming. Ma, I to just say. entered home. Oh, what? No, wait, wait for me, wait for me. I, I'm so tired. I'll let me go and refresh and come. So what I, is this? I can't talk to you. Huh? You talk to me, Ma. I need some time. So I go inside, refresh myself, then have a cup of uh, coffee or something and say, Sally. What? Uh, you wanted to say something? Huh? I don't Somebody want to tell died you. of dengue? No, no, no. Huh? I don't want to tell you anything. You, uh, you started the conversation, that huh? You don't want to hear. Why should I tell no, you? No, I'm here to listen. Tell me. No, I don't want to tell you now. You don't want to tell me? No. Then go. Go. The evening is gone. Simple thing. So when he comes back home, he's not into the home box. Right? So wait for him. So he has to shut his travel box and open his wife's box. Then only he can listen. Okay. okay. So then here I'm is talking. one box without name. This Which is one? called nothing box or paradise for box for Heaven, men. Heavenly box for the man. Okay. See, we said men can do only one work at a time and they're very focused. And success is very important for him. If there's a failure in his project or his boss fired him or anything did not go well, maybe he lost uh, even a game. Because of the success oriented thinking, Maybe stress also. The stress, stress also. Tiredness, stress, stress because of success and all these things. God has kept an empty box into the in man's head, just be, just just for him to relax from the stress that he is going through. So whenever men are stressed, they go into this empty box. That is nothing box. They will be there in the nothing box for some time. Okay, so that I mean, we women we need to understand how so, do they look when they are in the empty box. Peter, uh, you know what happened? Uh, Our neighbors got uh, corona, you know, uh, and also some of them got the dengue also. Uh, you need to be very careful, Papa. Mm -hmm. And uh, these mosquitoes, lot of mosquitoes. I think we need to put bleaching powder around the house, uh, and uh, you know. Uh, and the children, their uh, their books are, uh, I think, uh, the second term books are they're giving in the school, okay? We have to go and get the books. Uh, okay, can you do that tomorrow? <coughs> I can't go to school, Papa. I have to go to work. So I'm very busy, you know. Huh? What are you thinking? Why are you shouting into my ears, huh? What you, I was talking to you for 15 minutes. You're talking to me, huh? Uh, when? Now. Now. Huh? 
What did you talk? You didn't listen. You didn't say anything. Ma. You said ah, ah like that. Ah, ah. Huh? Really? Ah. ah. Whatever you, you speak you at that time. Say, ah, ah, ah. But that's nothing is going into their head. Men will be uh, sometimes they'll be like the brain dead person. Okay. They 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 cannot listen anything when they are in the nothing box. That that women we need to understand when they are in the nothing box. Don't disturb them. Their Why brain, they are in the nothing box? Their brain is getting refreshed. Rejuvenated. Rejuvenated. Right. Uh, uh, they need that rejuvenation so that they can uh, get into the work again. Right. Okay. Now you saw the man's brain and uh, how it works. Uh, a man can work in a, uh, like he'll be very unhappy at four at the uh, if the work work situation is bad mm -hmm. if a man is unhappy at work he cannot focus on relationship. relationship so it is very difficult for a man if they are not seeing success in their work or they're uh, very stressful in their work so it is difficult for him to concentrate at home relationship Let's see the women's brain, okay? We are not a box like thinkers. We are like jalebis or uh, noodles or we all know idea puff. Yeah. Okay? Very so whenever yeah? you are not confusing, we are very intricately designed by intricately God. Intricately designed. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Intricately designed by mm. God. So, uh, it's a kind of a idea pump. Our brain is like, it's just for us to understand, okay? Idea pump is it's all interconnected. You can't take one strand out, no? So, like that, women's, we, our mind is totally connected. Everything is connected, okay? Our thoughts, our words, our actions, everything is connected. Because of a connective thinking, we are multitaskers, okay? We are multitaskers. We can do nine work at a time without any chaos, okay? We can think nine things parallelly in our mind. Okay, for example, uh, we'll be making samba. Next to it, I'll be boiling milk. And then I'll be cutting vegetables. And then I'll be cutting vegetables for sabji also. And then I'll be thinking, okay, I'll, I have to wash two, three vessels. And uh, and if that vessels uh, washed <laughs> means it will be used for uh, this another cooking. And then I need to pack for uh, children uh, the lunch and my husband's lunch and my lunch. And then, oh, I'll be uh, watching. My husband is searching for his uh, um, socks and bunion and, uh, um, uh, and shirt. And I'll be instructing him where I kept the, all those things. And then children are asking for their project there. They kept the project that. And I'll be telling them I kept it very safely, safely on their lap. And all those things, at the same time I can do, okay, without any chaos. And during this time, my friend would have called. I'll be talking to her this all during all this time, and I'll be telling her the recipe of biryani, okay. Yeah. And totally different, different from what I'm making. I'm making sambar, but I'll be telling the biryani recipe. But there, is, there won't be any chaos. Okay. I can very well tell the biryani recipe. I, I In between, I'll be making sambar. Yes. Okay? And imagine that no I'm making problem. sambar and my friend is asking for biryani recipe. The, uh, the sambar will become a kurma. All the masala will come into the sambar. So we cannot function like that. Okay. So we are totally what different. Happens, what happens when these two, one is uh, uh, single focus. Okay. And my, here is a multitask. multitask. Okay. okay. So... When a multitask and a single task person is together, okay, that, that is where problem is. If two, three women are there, all are multitaskers, well and good. Everything goes well. But multitask and a single task in a house, that we, we two becoming one, it is very tough. Okay, for example, Peter, yeah. I kept dal in the cooker. Okay? Dal in the cooker. Three whistles. Three whistles. Switch it off, okay? okay. And then I, I knew to that uh, kept milk. Okay. 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 Uh, be careful with the milk. Uh, okay. It should not overflow. Oh, okay. okay. Three yeah. whistles. Three uh, whistles. Yeah. Right. You understood. Three whistles. Okay. Three whistles. Okay. 
and then I switched on the motor. Okay. Hmm? Ah. You have to switch off the motor, ah. and once the motor the water fills up, ah. um, you switch off the motor, ah. and then switch on the washing machine. Okay. Okay. Ah. No, Papa, washing machine. Ah. Ah. I put all the clothes and the powder, everything ready. You ah. have to just switch on the washing okay. machine. That's ah. all you have to I'll do. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay, and then uh, children are doing the project. Ah. Tell them to go to shop and get. Uh, Bread, egg, and uh, potato, and uh, onion. Ah. Um, uh, that's all. Bread, egg, and potato, and onion. Okay. okay. I'll take bath and come. Okay. Quickly, I'll, we have to go. Okay. 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 Huh? I'll be thinking. Mommy. What? Papa, uh, let you, me, you, let yeah, me yeah. take bath. Yeah, I'll take bath. Just listen. What? The children are studying law. Yeah. Are they going to finish the project now? Yeah. So once they finish the project, mm -hmm. uh, I go to send them to the shop now. Uh -huh. uh, get uh, egg, potato, and bread. Uh -huh. right. Onion. Uh, bread, bread, potato, onion, and uh, egg. egg. Yeah? Uh, egg. So when they come back, I will take the egg, potato, put it in the cooker and three whistles, no? Yo, Papa, it's already five whistles. What, five what is this? See, look, you, you never do things properly. Ma, huh? you said three whistles, Ma. Egg, potato, and three whistles. Oh. When did you keep this dal in the... Uh, I told you dal, cooker, put dal in the cooker. Three you should whistles. have told me now. That's why I say, whenever you give me some instruction, give me a list, put it in a list. That is why men are asking for a list. Okay. They say that I need a list because I cannot open many boxes at a time. We women, we think, why this man is asking for a list? But five things can't he remember? They go to shop and they think, okay, okay, okay. They say and then go to shop and then call. Okay, Sally, you told me five things. I remember two. Tell me again. Okay, why? Because they, are, they cannot open many boxes at a time. So we women, we need to understand that we are totally different. We can remember many things and many different issues at a time. And it is very difficult for a man. Okay. So they ask for a list. So if you want your man to work properly, you have to give him a list. So yeah. that he can really work properly. I have a pad, writing pad hanging in your kitchen. Right? Mm -hmm. Write everything, whatever you want to instruct. Yeah. You look at the uh, writing pad. And we'll follow the it's easy problem. for them. It's easy for them. And uh, uh, for men, they whenever they are stressed out, God has kept a nothing box for them to go into the box and they get de-stressed and they come back. Okay. For women, God has not given us the nothing box. We don't have any boxes inside our brain. So how do we tackle our stress? Okay, we tackle our st women's stress through conversation. We need to converse. Okay, for example, if something happened in the morning, okay, some misunderstanding. Morning, uh, Mommy, when it's not a he problem. shouted and went to um, office and uh, he, he jumps from one box to, okay, home box, travel box, office box. He, he can work very comfortably. And happily there. Happily there. By the okay. time he reaches the office, he would have forgotten the fight. Because right? home box is closed. Yeah. Okay. We women, what happened now? Because of our radiopum brain, we will be thinking from morning, oh, oh, why he shouted at me? What reason he shouted at me? Why? Why? Did my mother-in-law call him? Yeah, say yeah. something about would me? Would have been a mother-in-law. Would have been instructed Maybe him to shout at me. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's influenced by his sisters, or maybe he's influenced by his friends. And uh, I, I think he's, he's, uh, he's talking about it and laughing with his friends yeah. in the office, okay? And uh, they, maybe he's got an upset too. Anyway, they'll be making big he's jokes not loving me now. Me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I think the reason is that he's not at all loving me. So many thinking is going on inside, okay? And this whole day he didn't talk to me, he didn't call. So the problem becomes more serious. Okay. Oh, he didn't call. He's still angry. Okay. Huh? And what will I do? And I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking. Maybe. And it is it is like a mega serial. It increases and increases. Okay. We said he's a focused person. Once he gets into the office, he'll forget the home. He'll forget the travel, everything. So not 
uh, deliberately is is chosen to uh, not not to call his wife, but not like they're focused people. So, but when he comes back home, now we don't forget of the fight. Ah, honey, how are you, sweetheart? What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Ah, mm-hmm. why are you like this, da? I said we'll go for to the mall. Don't touch me, okay? Don't touch you. Ah. Yeah. You're my wife, darling. What? Ah, now only you know that I'm your wife. What happened, darling? Don't touch me. I'm telling you. Okay, tell me. What's happening? What do you want? Why are you like this? Why are you angry with me? You shouted at me in the morning. When did this happen? Ah, huh? when did this happen? Two years before. What is this? Can you remember today morning you shouted at me? What today morning? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, now forget it. Ah, oh, forget it. Uh, How can I forget it? It's easy for you. Uh, How you shouted at me, you know? Okay. It was terrible, you know. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so the thing is, the women will be very upset. Why a man shouted at her? So we solve problems in conversation. If a man is not talking, the problem becomes more. I'll be thinking. I'll be talking to my mother, Mama. You know what happened? Ah, uh, see, this morning he shouted at me, and then I'll call my sister. I'll call my friend, and I'll call my somebody, some some friend, and tell the friend to pray about it also. And immediately the friend who I told to pray about it, they will inform the prayer group to pray about it. And it goes on and on. Our problem will become big. Okay, so you need to understand that we women we need a conversation. So here, men, if you are sitting here listening, please understand your wife needs conversation. If you, you are not talk talking, if you are if you are keeping quiet for some time, it is terrible for your wife. So it is then, and that is why. In Ephesians four ten to twenty six says, um, "In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Do not give foothold to devil." Okay, so that means that see, if you are leaving the problem or not talking out, you know the problem, it is terrible for the woman, and it it will be really a next day the problem will be more. Okay. Escalating. Yeah, it will be escalating because so many thinking is going on. So many things are going on. So here, ah, uh, we need to understand each other. How we can help each other. How we can solve problem. Okay. So men, you need to learn. Ah, uh, at least when you go to office, you call your wife and talk to your wife. Okay. Hi. Hello. I came to office. This has happened. Don't abruptly stop your conversation. It will be difficult for your wife. Then, also when you communicate your husband, we told you he's a focused person. If he's doing some job, you cannot disturb him, right? Either when whether he's in an empty box or he is doing a job, you cannot get his attention at all. How can get his attention? For example, because of our multitasking uh, ability, how we talk is. Uh, okay, we'll be doing we'll be uh, mopping mopping the floor. And uh, while mopping the floor, we remember that we need some uh, coriander leaves. Yeah, okay. I am watching a, a cricket match or a football match. Okay. Right. Oh, Pijo, we is... need coriander leaves. Can you get coriander yeah, leaves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five minutes, I'll be there. I'll I'll think that you will bring. Okay. After five minutes, Peter, Peter. Yeah. Where is coriander leaves? Coriander leaves. Ah. Huh. Coriander leaves are. What? When did you ask me that? I told you not to get. Really? Ah. Uh-huh. Hey, I, I didn't hear it, da. You said within five minutes. No, ma, you didn't tell me that. Don't lie, da. Why should I lie? Everybody knows I asked for See, the leaves. That focused thing, no, like uh, if uh, when whatever she talks, like when I'm focused in anything, like t- watching TV or uh, doing a project or typing or whatever it is. Uh, she uh, talks, gives me a command from the from uh, from the kitchen or from the hall or somewhere. It just flies over my head. I will answer her uh, involuntarily, but uh, the thing is, the work will not be done. So, how do you uh, how do you have to get the attention of your husband? Okay, I'm Instead watching. Instead of you. just okay, Peter, can you get coriander leaves? I need to call him, Peter, Peter, uh-huh. twice. Why twice? 
because first call to close the previous box, mm. second call to open, open wife's box. Wife's box. Okay, so Peter, yeah, Peter, yeah. can you get current? Yeah, box? yeah. So I'll switch off the TV. Don't get the current and lift your yes, you If you are not able to come here to him, if you are okay in the bathroom or somewhere else, you want to call your husband. Call many times. Okay. So get his attention first and then talk. Don't in the air talk and go and thinking that he knows. He will not know. He will not get okay. the information. He will not get the information because it flew. It will fly over the, the another box. Okay, that will not go into the proper box. That is why uh, you may thinking that, okay, I told everything, but why is not doing that? Because it didn't go to the proper box. So whenever you want to talk to your man, any serious issue, whatever issue, whatever you want to talk to him, you have to call him twice, Peter, Peter, yeah. and then talk about the issues. Oh. Then it will be done. So you need to understand, okay? Right. Yes, the emotionally, emotionally also we are different. See, a woman expresses everything to her face. You talk to your face, you talk to your eyes, everything in action like that. Okay. So sadness, surprise, anger, joy, fear, desire, whatever is it, everything can be seen in our face, right? Okay. Then now look at the man's expression. Everything is the same, right? He will not express it through the face. But my wife thinks that I can read a face. Okay. When she's sick, when she's having a headache, when she's having a stomach ache, she'll do some actions. Okay, because see, we, we would have we would have watched many uh, uh, dad, a uh, dad, no, like a uh, dad would have seen her from her childhood, and if a small nice ah, that's all, dad would jump from his uh, chair. Darling, what happened? Everything you cannot... daddy will ask, okay? Yeah. And we expect the same thing from the husband, okay? So after marriage, we'll be okay. I'm having a day and I want Peter to notice and come jumping for me, okay? So again, I'm telling you, we are very focused people. I'm doing something. Uh... Still, he didn't notice. Hello. Ah. Uh, still, he's not noticing. So I need to do some other action. Uh, what happened, da? What? Something new, Stella. Why, why are you crying in the top of the head? <laughs> hey, why are you crying? <laughs> I'm having a day for a long day. You are not bothered about me. Long time. Yeah. See, if you have an headache, open your mouth and tell me. I have an headache. Okay. This is what happens, okay? Don't expect We him. expect our spouse to notice our problem and come jumping for us. It's difficult for your man. Immediately you think, my dad noticed. Why can't he? Is a, he is a, dad was a man. Dad noticed because dad saw you from the beginning. He saw you as a babe and he saw the facial changes and slowly he grew up with you. So he knows the changes. So if you he want a dad not... like if you want a if you want a dad like husband, you, you should have married a six-year-old man. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want a dad like husband, okay? We want a proper husband. Okay. okay. So <laughs> the thing is, um, um, this man is if you are married for one year, you're on, he's only one year old husband. Yeah. If you're married for 10 years, he's only 10 year old as well. So he's learning. He's learning. So it is better to tell him directly. So how to tell him? It's not like okay, simply when he's watching something a day, it will not go into his ears. Okay, Peter, Peter, uh -huh. I'm having a day. Oh, shall I make you a cup of coffee? Oh, uh -huh. Just to give me a massage, coffee, that is enough. Coffee. Give me some rest. Uh -huh. Today I cannot yeah, yeah. cook anything. Like Okay. okay, I'll get some uh, something from you. A lot of ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's what... all. What you want, you just convey. Don't expect so many things and that math not happening and then getting irritated. Okay? Right. Okay. So not only this, we have this personality differences also because of time. I think we have uh, overrun time. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, we have the personality. 
I think so. You have a question now. No? Right. It will take about two minutes to complete this. So then we can go into the question now. Right. Why did God make us with differentness? Can I change this box into a earphone? No. No. But problem is, we should tried... I bear with him and live like that? That's frustration. No, it is frustration. Our problem is we try to change our spouse. No, I'm made differently. Right? So we then, think like that. We stand on our strength and say that you change, I am right. I am the best. Okay. You change, right? So we think that one person is right and we want the other person to live like one person. Okay? To be like me. I want my wife to be like me. No. I cannot She's become a, a woman. man. I'm a woman. Okay. So I so uh, bearing him with him, I have married him. What to say? I mean, uh, the Bible does not allow divorce. Otherwise, I would have got rid of him. I have to bear with him. Okay? No, no, no. That is also frustration. What we need to do is, right, uh, this, this is Paul. Paul in Second Corinthians chapter um, uh, uh, 12, 12, 8 and 9, if you read. Yeah. Paul asked God for his weakness to be removed, okay? Yeah. So he asked Lord, the thorn. Lord, I, he said, I asked the Lord thrice to remove the thorn from my flesh, and God answered me, my grace is sufficient for you. Only in your weakness, my strength will be made perfected in you and through you, right? So this is a problem with the human beings. We have a strength and weakness. My strength is focused vision, but I don't have a peripheral vision. That's my weakness, strength and weakness, right? I have strength in my arms and limbs, but my weakness is my if, right? Then I'm focused in my work, but I cannot do 10 work at a time. Whatever is weakness is my strength. I have a peripheral vision, but I don't have a focused vision. I have, my hip is very strong. My arm, arms and legs are not strong. I can do 10 work at a time. For me, success is not very important. So we so, have strengths and weaknesses. A problem is we always try to show our strengths, right? But we close our weaknesses even to our spouse. We are like this, just I'm like this. I am perfect. I am also perfect. So There's nothing that we wrong are with... not becoming one. We are hitting each other. Yeah. Okay. We close ourselves and tight twisted and then also fight. Somehow we bear with each other. No, it is also a fight. Okay. But God what? is telling us, as Paul opened to God, that Lord, I have a weakness. Like that, we need to open to our spouse. Yeah, I need to say, Sally, I have strength and weaknesses. All my weaknesses, I have strength. Can you make me perfect in my weakness? Helping me in my weakness. Sure, let my strength help in your weakness. Yeah. Okay. So, and I will also make you perfect. I'll compliment you and complete you in your weakness, right? So, the goal of marriage is for two people to become one and God deliberately made us with strengths and weakness so that I will depend on my spouse. When I see that she is made uh, differently from me and when I see the beauty in the differences, I get attracted to her, right? What I don't have, she has got. That's beautiful. That's what attraction. I don't have, he has got. That's so, wonderful, no? That's attraction. And this is one way of God binding us together, right? So we are we are relational beings. God has not made us independent in people. We are interdependent people, okay? Mm -hmm. So interdependent people, uh, we are all dependent on each other. So, it is my responsibility and duty to seek under God to work with my spouse and to see the needs are fulfilled. How I can fulfill the needs of my spouse? It's, it is not to compete with each other. It is to complement with each other. So, why purposely God made male and female? Now you will know. Okay? It is to complement each other. Not to irritate each other or not to compete with each other, but to complement each other. So that we have to celebrate the gender differences God has made in us. So accept each other as God's provision and build one another. That's what Paul says. We have to build another person. 
how much more we have to build our spouse, you know. Okay, so build our spouse. So we, I need to I need to say that you are in, made in the image of God and you are so good and you are entirely also, different from me. You are also so special and the, the speciality is in you is that all those things that I don't have. But that it's uniqueness a, I appreciate in you. Yeah. Instead of getting irritated, I appreciate your uniqueness. I will now, after understanding the differences, I will I will talk to my husband even five times. No problem. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, call him. Before before and all, okay, I'll think that why should I tell him two times? I can't be understand like that. But now you will have an effort to talk to your husband. You will have an effort to talk to the wife. No, 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 no. I cannot keep my mouth mouth shut. She needs, to, I need to talk to her. She needs a listening ear. She needs a conversation to solve problem. So you will come and talk. Like that, we can complement each other. Yeah. Okay? So may God add his blessing, his blessing to this word. Mm. And uh, now the question session is open. You can ask your uh, thank you so much, uh, Brother Peyton, Sister Sally. It was indeed a very enriching session. I was laughing for most of the time because I could relate to so many things you said, and I'm sure many of us could. So I hope we make the necessary changes in our families. And you know, the example of the hands coming together it was so special. So may God help us. I've already received three questions. So I'm going to ask, shall I ask the questions? Sure. Yeah. So two are related to work. So I'll club them together and ask. One question is, will women going to work cause an imbalance in the relationship? Also, there is another question. You told that men are made to work with strong hands and legs. How can we correct men who are lazy and want the wife to be the breadwinner of the home? So, yeah, first, I, we will answer the first one. First, that is, uh, can you repeat the first question? Can a woman work or something? Uh, yeah, will women going to work cause imbalance because man was made to work? Okay. Oh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, 16 and 17, that those are the responsibilities given to man 